The Hill of Naknishi, traditionally known as the Hill of the Fairies. This is the story of Gilligan's World, the brainchild of Melody Aircut, a haven of miniature villages and delightful fairy habitats that nestle in beautiful water and botanical gardens in the shadows of Naknishi itself. Whether you believe in fairies or not, a visit here will definitely set you thinking. You're greeted by a low stone tunnel entrance, and that sets the scene for a breathtaking array of sights that honour the memory of those who firmly believe that not only do fairies exist, but that they can also offer solitude, comfort and spirituality for those who wish to believe in them. People get the misconception that Gilligan's World is a children's park. It isn't. It is named Gilligan's World because of the Gilligan family that lived here in the late 1850s, the early 1900s. Of course, when they left, uh, the place became a ruin and just the bullocks used to be on this, it, it turned into scrubland. So it was developing from that, sitting, creating the houses, the pictures, trying to keep the ancient side of it and give this feeling of spiritual peace, but fun for people of all ages. And I think that message is, the most important one to get across. There's great power and energy here. People feel young, they feel peace within themselves, and yet children adore it, love it, and enjoy the innocence. Developing Gilligan's World took blood, sweat and tears, but Melody was convinced that the barren field that greeted her in 1993 had the potential to be a major tourist attraction. She wasn't alone. Damien Brennan, a former Falcha Ireland tourism officer in Sligo, was impressed by Melody's ambitious plans and did his bit to turn her dream into reality. Well, all of about 16 years ago, I suppose, at this stage, I was tourism officer for County Sligo, Far Falch, Ireland. Got a phone call from London. The lady said, I'm Melody Urquhart. Um, I have bought some property in Ireland. I'm intrigued by Nachnishi, the Hill of the Fairies, and I'd like to do something with the idea. So we met a couple of times, she came to Ireland, I happened to be in England, I went and met her and the um, plan that she had here for Gilligan's World uh, convinced me that we should support it. Now at the time the idea of doing anything with the Irish fairy or the Irish leprechaun, Gilligan the Irish leprechaun, uh, was, was really not quite where we thought the message was and yet I was convinced first of all of Melody's conviction and her determination and secondly that it would be attractive to visitors from home and abroad because there is a story to be told about the Irish fairy, about the place in the folklore of Ireland, indeed about the place in Yeats's poetry here in, in Sligo, the land of heart's desire. There's a story to be told about that and Melody took it on and delivered it and you know 14 years after she has opened, which is this year, uh, you can see today that it's thriving and that it's a major attraction and it, my, my uh, conviction was probably correct. Gilligan's World is an adventure. Whether it's a quiet stroll to just escape from the hustle and bustle of life or a family day out, this place has it all. The children have lots of areas to explore and hanging your wishes on the tree is all part and parcel of a visit here. There are lots of animals to see and numerous trails to follow, including the opportunity of climbing Nochnishi itself and viewing the panoramic views from the hilltop. People come here from all walks of life to explore the history of this special place, but the locals are equally impressed with what it has to offer. First of all, when you come through that little tunnel there, you forget the outside world. You just When you arrive inside here, it's as if it doesn't exist at all. And you just come in and you wander around and it's so peaceful so calm and the children run around and they just find loads and loads of things to do and lots of things to see and we get games and stuff for them to do and then some of the mums and dads go off and they sit and chat to each other and it's just so peaceful and it's just a lovely lovely place to be to forget the world outside it really really is lovely do you believe do you believe in fairies i have to believe in fairies i live around here but i've never managed to, to see one i have to say but um Yes, you'd have to believe in fairies if you come to a place like this. And certainly by the time you leave, you would believe that, they, that they're here. Definitely. How dear to me fond memory sweet recollection brings 
How oft I've listened the leaf long day to the thrush and blackbird sing. How softly used the cuckoo call from out yon holly tree. And how sweet that sound re echoed round the hill of Knocknashay.